Liave, uh, Liave has the latest word on Letran. Aika? Well, the Red Lions might have packed the first game in this final series, but for the Letran Knights, it ain't over till it's over. Giving up has never been and will never be in the Knights' dictionary. Now, it's last Wednesday, the Knights played, to compete this time. The Knights are willing to play, and they're hungrier than ever. Today's game plan, they will make the defending champs have a hard time, and they will let them dictate the temper of the game. Decide will push them around, execute a tougher defense. The Red has to be consistent though throughout the four quarters. Lastly, the boys were reminded that no one thought that our young team would reach this far. For we are indeed overachievers. We do not doubt that we could become this year's champions. Bill? Alright, that was our Samsung courtside update. Samsung is not that hard to imagine. A foul was committed by Bong Escobar, his first three on each team. Now one more and they'll be in the penalty. We still have seven minutes to go. Kintai open for a triple. Surprise, surprise! Now, Oji Minor sees a clear path to the bucket. He is fouled by Gutilba. That's a good call. He was uh, already going for that shot when he was bought by uh, oh, Gutilba. No easy shots now because in the game Every one, Minor and Escobar Menor. had a lot of great penetrations to the basket. And that really hurt Petra. Well, I'm sure they're not going to let uh, Ogi Minor score 23 points easily in this game. There he is. So, uh, he missed na mag easy uh, layups nga naman, you know? You take it from the free throw and he misses the first one. No, a big hero in game one. Missing his second free throw as well. Oh, they're trying to push a second foul from Sam Eckler. 8 to 4, Letran in the lead. Letran also in the penalty now. The better one foul away. Six and a half minutes to go. Nakal. Now trying to draw Ekwe out. Fire over him. It's short. What's the saying? It's like trying to shoot over a telephone booth. Charging. <laughs> Offensive foul. If that's on Escobar, that's his second. Franklin is looking down his bench. Do I pull him out now or do I wait a little bit? What would you do? It's hard to see Escobar in the first quarter. He's not going to recover in the game, so this is a good thing. They're putting in Garbo Llanete, who has been a major contributor also, considering that he is a rookie. Good cut there by uh, Oto, red by Ekbe, and look at him beating a pass to the basket, beating Menor, easy bucket for San Beda. That could be one of the plays for this game. Yes. Completed play by Sam Ekwe. He thinks he's Magic Johnson exactly. now. Exactly. Eight to six, Red Lions down by a basket. Bintai watches it go out of bounds, 15 seconds on the shot clock, and we need to catch our breath. So that Oh, hindi naman si Ekwe yung uh, kamasap nito si Faundo. Those are already good numbers yes. na pinapakita niya dito sa season na to. But talking about Ekwe, he's not just going to give up those kinds of shots. Oh no, no easy buckets if you stroll into the paint. But Letran getting a lot of offensive boards. They already have four. San Beda has none. He died. They left him open again. This time he misses. Don trying to tip it away. Ekwe with another rebound. He has four. Holding foul on Dino Da, that will be his second. having two fouls and also Dino Da. Coach bench. By the way, join us in the NCAA season 84. Contact ABC Vets Good Sales at the number flashed on your screens and New face on the floor, Schubert Reposar in the game for the first time. Dino Da has to sit down. And we'll also see what kind of a rotation Frankie Lim will use because in game one, he only used what, seven or eight players? Exactly. And of course, Josefa Jamal is no bound. This can be his last game. Oh, yes, indeed. For collegiate basketball. Jamal with four of the eight points of Sagbeda. We are deadlocked. Coming up on the halfway point in the first quarter. Jantal to Paolo, to Kintai, lost the handle. Letran cannot afford those turnovers. Jamal for three. Off the glass. Oh my God. Those are the kinds of shots. It's really for the 
Championship. Yan yung ano, sumisigaw yung coach. Bad shot, bad shot. Good. <laughs> Kasi po nga, so, good deal pan for three. That's his shot. He silences one half of the big dome and the other half erupts. Ako, tingin ko mga 60-40, 60 pula. Oo. 40 ang uh, mga Lebronita. Offensive foul on that end and good positioning by Reposar. That's something Lebron will do. Give up the body to get the fouls. And you know, that's one thing also that Sanveda will have to watch out for. They can't be too excited in running that break. So, Let's nawala, run. nawala talaga, no? Nawala oh. talaga sa ayos yung uh, pag-fast uh, break na ni uh, Garbola Nevin. And that's also because he's not used to being in the game this early. Reposar will try to take on Ekwe. No, he gives it to Tampal. Goes FaceTime. Tops out. Picked away by Lamebe. Mikhail Ban recovers in the backcourt. Nine seconds of the clock. They built the clock for all it was worth. 4.05 to go. The action has been non-stop. Both teams are in the penalty. 11 all. And Petran has managed to limit San Beda so far. And Petran's aim is simple. Keep the ball, keep the score close. And turnover forced by Dangkal. That's one thing to do with right. Dangkal showing the kind of aggressiveness that uh, Coach Louis would want them to play here in Game 2. And in Game 1, they were able to force San Beda into 22 turnovers. Dai. Squeezing in between two players, he is fouled. Let's see who it's on. If it's on Ekwe, it's number two. Nako, dalawa na rin. Ang mahirap nito, baka si, baka si Minor ang bumangga nung tumalbog kay Ekwe. Siya yung natawagan. Siya yung natawagan. Because the referees are always looking at who initiates contact. If it's the defensive player, that's automatically a foul. That's one thing uh, Lebron is doing in offense. You see that Nagdato lang is to attack the defense in some Ekwe. And it's working wonders for them. They're up by one point and two falls already from Pong Escobar and also from Sam Ekwe. Meanwhile, Ray Guevara will come in at the next dead ball situation. Ekwe with another rebound. Arjama high off the glass. Very high percentage. I can see... Uh, he has nine points already. It's keeping them in the game, but the question is, what will the effect be on the other players? Ekmosar shooting a long one over Ekwe, in and out. Saved by Al-Jamal, ahead to Menor. He lost the handle. Hintai in a foot race, three on two situation. This guy had it knocked loose by Al Jamal. Ekwe. He's blocked. 